Hello everyone. The topic that we are going to discuss today is Southern Blotting. What is Southern Blotting? Southern Blotting is a technique developed by E.M. Southern in 1975. This is a technique to find out the specific DNA fragment in a sample. The principle of this technique is hybridization. Hybridization is a procedure of finding out a specific DNA molecule by using a complementary strand or complementary DNA probe that will bind to the sequence and form a hybrid. This is the picture showing the procedure. First of all, we have to isolate the DNA then carrying out the restriction digestion by using the restriction enzyme and then these fragments are separated by using gel electrophoresis. The fragments are then transferred from gel to membrane, the process is called blotting. Next step is remove of the blot, usually the membrane is nitrocellulose filter membrane then the additional radioactively labeled probes are exposed to hybridize with the short sequence present in the sheet. Then, signal detection by exposing to X-ray film. Step 1 is DNA isolation and purification. First of all, need to isolate the DNA from cell. The cell is placed in cell lysis buffer. Lysis occur as the cellular protein and DNA are released. Next step is we need to remove protein from the sample. This, this degradation procedure involve the use of proteinase enzyme that will degrade all the protein. Then, the DNA is precipitated by alcohol precipitation by either ethanol or methanol. Then, the visible DNA fibers are removed and suspended in buffer. Step 2 is Restriction Digestion. The DNA is cut into a small fragment using restriction enzymes such as EQR1. In Step 3, the DNA fragments are separated by gel electrophoresis. Gel electrophoresis is a separation technique and separate the DNA based on size. The gel matrix used can be agarose or polyacrylamide. The DNA molecule with smaller size will move faster compared to the bigger DNA molecule. The DNA is negatively charged, so it will move toward the positively charged electrode. For visualization, we need to stain the gel with ethidium bromide. Step 4 and 5, Denaturation and Blotting. As DNA is a double-stranded molecule we need to denature the DNA and carry it out by using NaOH then utilized with NaCl to prevent rehybridization. Then the blotting procedure is actually the transfer DNA bands from the gel to a nitrocellulose membrane. This blot is made permanent by exposing to UV radiation or drying at minus 80 degrees Celsius. Step 6, Hybridization. Hybridization we need to find out our DNA target whether our DNA is present or not in the sample. The labeled probe is added to the membrane and buffer and incubated for several hours to allow the probe molecules to find their targets. Probes are small pieces of labeled DNA used to find another piece of DNA usually prepared by making a radioactive copy of a DNA fragment that is why the principle is called hybridization. Step 7 and 8, Wash and Autoradiography. Wash excess probe that are bound non-specifically to the membrane. If the probes is radioactive, the particles it emits will expose X-ray film. After development, there will be dark spots on the film wherever the probe back. Thanks for your watching. Created using Powtoon.